Everything's dark. Quiet. It's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? They may not have gone far. No security, no emergency staff. If Vicky's right, it shouldn't be this quiet. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. He was shot dead center, twice, executed. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. This man's veins, they look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here, no entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27-minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now, looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. A modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. They're manufacturing the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. If I had known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. We'll have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. 
She must have a good reason for being there. Doesn't sound like she's too happy to be here. She might need your help. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. I know what you have planned with the Skyrim. It's not going to happen. Then killing you both will have to be a consolation prize. Thanks, Matt. Train's ready! People of Gotham are stronger than you think. They won't let this city fall into chaos. You'd be surprised. Fear can be incredibly persuasive. Go on. Show me how you save your precious city. Just like the other liar. <laughs> Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats.
to stay with me. I know. Come on. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. I'm fine. I just need to get back out. That might work on your butler, but I'm not buying that crap. Stay there. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, huh. What? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would have killed you. It's not that bad. I've been through worse. Funny. Any worse, and you'd be sent home in a body bag. <laughs> I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. I feel like I owe you anyway. That's twice now. You just keep adding things to my list, don't you? Selena. I told you I don't like owing people. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader. I had a plan. I was there, tracking the children of Arkham. I had no idea you'd be there. Must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. There is another way out. We can take them down together. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? The dynamic duo fighting crime. <laughs> Being serious. I know. Things have a habit of not working out for me on the duo front. Ah. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Hey, I promise I don't bite. Yeah, but she does. T cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something. You're wrong. There are good people out there. Honest people. Care to introduce me to one? Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world. I don't have any secrets from you. You know... I have heard that a thousand times, but you might be the first to actually mean it. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. You're just listing all the things I like about you. <sighs> Now you've ruined it. What? Nothing. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but... I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. 
Then you look around and see nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. You're not alone, okay? I'm here for you. Thanks, Bats. Hmm. I was hoping for something more than that. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? I think I'd rather watch you. Rise and shine. Not yet. I'm starving. Not quite what I was looking for. I think there might be bagels in the fridge. Would definitely check expiration dates on anything before you think about putting it in your mouth. <clears throat> Bruce? Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. heard from you. I didn't know what happened if, if you were... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. <sighs> I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. I really like her. I'm sorry, are you smiling? You can't tell if I'm smiling. I know you, sir. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. I trust her, Alfred. That's all I need to know. If you're sure, at the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. Pretty strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. We could use something like this. There you are. Uh, I hope she didn't break anything. Looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. Hey, I, uh, I brought breakfast. 
C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get Bruce. What the... Seriously. What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I spent the night here. That's it. You... You... I can't believe Stay this! Down. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. Not if it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? Harvey, I'm sorry. For what? We have nothing to be sorry for. I don't answer to him, and neither do you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. I can handle the children of Arkham. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Bruce Wayne can do anything. Everything Harvey couldn't. He thinks he's so much better! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This... This is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it! No! No! Oh god, this is what you wanted to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! Harvey... Now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who am I? This isn't you. Just calm down! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Jesus, Harvey. Of course, gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No, no, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. <laughs> Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me! The call's already been made! Harvey! Bruce! No! I don't want to hurt you! This isn't... They turned their backs on you! Harvey, put the knife down! <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. Have you lost your mind? No. Last warning, Harvey. You walk out that door right now and I don't have to hurt you. No going back now. Finally showing your true colors, huh? Please, not with him. But I can't. Oh God, I can't listen to him. You need to get help. You can't deal with this on your own. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. 
Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. I think maybe you're right. There's nothing we can do for him now. Let me call someone. I'll... I'll go. I know I messed it all up. You don't have to... Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. That's what I get for wishful thinking. Yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here. And I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah. That means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. Maybe you're right. This could be my chance to expose Oswald for who he really is. Let Gotham know he's a part of the children of Arkham. Exactly. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've, uh, We've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. And please, Bruce, try to be on your best behavior. The very best. Wouldn't want to bring any more shame to the Wayne family name. Now would we? I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. You're right. This is my legacy, and the only reason I'm putting up with this charade. Yes. Well, as long as you cooperate, I suppose your motivation is irrelevant. Bruce, what's your opinion of the Shiner? Regina wanted me to cover it up with makeup. She doesn't think it looks very dignified. But here I think it's a fine display of what the moral high ground looks like. Mr. Cobblepot. All in good fun, honestly. <laughs> a thrown punch is just water under the bridge. Right, Bruce? Boys are just being boys and all of that. No hurt feelings, I'm sure. It's not the black eye that makes you undignified, Oz. Hey, will you two please stop this? You're both professionals. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you, and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me? Taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, dear heart. Not even close. No one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. The children of Arkham handed you this coup, Oswald. You didn't earn any of it. Who cares? It never really matters how a king comes to sit on his throne, Bruce. The only thing that matters is that it's his bum warming the chair. 
This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. That is not going to happen. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Bruce. It doesn't look nice on you. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. I don't need to know why. Hill had them killed. That's all that matters. Well, I certainly didn't expect that. But suit yourself. Now you'll never know what part your mom played in it. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> I'm stepping down from my position as CEO of Wayne Enterprises, but I am not doing so voluntarily. The board of Wayne Enterprises has voted me out at a meeting I was not invited to attend. My father wasn't the only one involved in this corruption. Mayor Hill and Carmine Falcone. It was a system designed for their gain. Dodging the blame? Is it gonna do you any good, mate? Security! Step back, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, the press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. Drop your pen. That's not... I should know. I'm sure some of you remember the former beauty of You feel that? That's the drug taking hold of you. You won't get away with this. I think I already have. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Wayne! <laughs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That's why, effective immediately, I have signed the order to have him hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Batman, the children of Arkham, the Penguin. Doesn't Gotham already have enough deranged criminals terrorizing its streets? I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe. That they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. 
With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman?